Goddess. William Roasted Meg's show fiercely exposed her 67 lies in Netflix's new EP at Christmas concert. Prince William has called for togetherness as the royals put on a united front hours after the final episodes of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's docuseries aired. Speaking during Catherine, the Princess of Wales' second annual Christmas Carol concert on Thursday, the Prince of Wales quoted the Queen's 2012 Christmas speech. At Christmas, I am always struck by how the spirit of togetherness lies also at the heart of the Christmas story, he told the audience at Westminster Abbey. William was joined by his wife Kate, their children, and several other royal family members including King Charles III at the service after Prince Harry made various accusations against his brother and father in the final episodes of Harry and Meghan. The Duke of Sussex accused both of leaking sensitive information, and claimed he was terrified to have my brother scream and shout at me and my father say things that weren't true during the family meeting about the terms of his royal exit with Meghan. In the face of these serious allegations, both the monarch and heir to the throne epitomized the keep calm and carry on attitude the late Queen Elizabeth became famous for. Firstly, both Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace declined to comment on the claims raised in the six part series. Instead, King Charles forged ahead with official business during the day, holding audiences with ambassadors from Italy and Kazakhstan. His Majesty was later joined by Camilla, Queen Consort, for a visit to London's community kitchen facilities in northwest London, where they met with volunteers and staff. Then, in the afternoon, the father and son accompanied their wives to Westminster Abbey where Catherine, the Princess of Wales hosted her second annual Christmas Carol concert. Together at Christmas and was recorded on Thursday at Westminster Abbey, with the show airing in the UK on Christmas Eve, a day before the King's first Christmas address to the nation. The royal family put on a united front at the event, which will pay tribute to the late Queen Elizabeth, as the Sussex dramas world around them. The Princess of Wales was the first to arrive for the event, making a solo entrance in a maroon-coloured coat dress with gloves and clutch both in hand. Kate had her signature bouncy blow-dry tucked behind one ear to showcase long drop earrings, which appeared to feature ruby and diamonds. A short time later the princess popped back outside to greet Prince George, 9, and Princess Charlotte, 7, who arrived with their father, the Prince of Wales. Charlotte was dressed to match her mum, while young George donned a suit for the outing, like his dad. While the Queen consort arrived alongside King Charles, in an outfit change after their earlier royal engagement, Camilla donned a long white coat adorned with a festive ruby brooch, over a printed dress. Sophie, Countess of Wessex was among the first to arrive for the occasion and dressed warmly for the sub-zero temperatures in a knitted dress, long lime white coat and tan leather high heel boots. Princess Beatrice and husband Eduardo Mopelli Mozzi joined in the festivities again for a second year, along with Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooks Banks, with both couples arriving holding hands. Zara and Mike Tyndall were also spotted walking hand in hand as they arrived inside Westminster Abbey, having recently returned from a visit to Australia. Zara sported a very similar coloured ensemble to Kate, as did the Princess of Wales's sister Pippa Matthews, who arrived with mum and dad, Carol and Michael Middleton. Extended members of the royal family were also spotted arriving for the carols service, including, Lord Frederick Windsor and his actress wife Sophie Winkleman, his sister Lady Gabriella Kingston as well as Prince and Princess Michael of Kent. In other news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry reportedly took a photographer on Buckingham Palace grounds without the permission of Queen Elizabeth II. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are all set to drop their docuseries in partnership with Netflix, are seen walking on the royal residence's garden entrance in the teaser. Images and videos as such can only be captured with the monarch's permission, which as per sources, was not taken by the couple, reports Telegraph. The incident was a genuine violation, the outlet notes. Despite the inability to ask for approval, Meghan and Harry's photographer was not made to leave the palace grounds.